Hey there, Read Along Kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called, I Love You, Mummy Pig. It was very early in the morning, and Peppa and George had woken up Daddy Pig and dragged him to the kitchen. We want to make Mummy a surprise breakfast said Peppa excitedly. Her yawn, Daddy Pig. Well, I am an expert at making pancakes. Yippee, cheered Peppa. Mummy loves pancakes. Upstairs, Mummy Pig was in bed. She could hear lots of noise. Bang, crash. Hee hee hee, oops. Mommy, shouted Peppa. We need you, Mommy. Mommy Pig got out of bed and went downstairs. We're making you a surprise breakfast, Mommy, explained Peppa. But it went a bit wrong. Surprise, mumbled Daddy Pig. How lovely, said Mommy Pig, smiling. Why don't you tidy up the mess, said Mummy Pig, and I'll finish the breakfast. Mummy Pig tossed the pancakes high up into the air and straight onto everyone's plate. Wow, Mummy! Peppa and George cheered. You're amazing! And these are delicious, added Daddy Pig. After breakfast, Peppa whispered to Daddy Pig, Let's take Mummy to the beach. Great idea, Peppa, whispered Daddy Pig. It is her favorite. Mummy, cried Peppa, we're taking you on a surprise trip. How lovely, replied Mummy Pig. I'll just get my things. Mummy packed her bag. Then everyone hopped in the car. Let's go, cheered Peppa. Oh, how lovely, said Mummy Pig, stepping out of the car. The beach is in snow. Oh, sighed Peppa, it's very cold. Not to worry, said Mummy Pig. She pulled out nice warm clothes for everyone, and then a table, and some chairs, and lots of toys. Thank you, Mummy, said Peppa. Peppa built a snow castle while George and Daddy Pig played catch. You relax, Mummy, said Daddy Pig. George, catch! The ball flew through the air and was about to land on Peppa's snow castle. Mummy, shouted Peppa. We need you, Mummy. Mummy Pig jumped up and caught the ball just in time. Ooh, wow, Mummy, gasped Peppa. You're brilliant. How about we have a nice lunch, suggested Daddy Pig, getting the picnic things out. But just as everyone was about to eat, there was a great gust of wind. Whoosh! The food was whipped off the table and up into the air. Mummy! cried Peppa. We need you, Mummy. Mummy Pig grabbed the umbrella and used it to catch all the picnic food. Wow, Mummy, gasped Peppa. You're so clever. Let's throw snowballs into the sea, said Peppa, after they had eaten. So Daddy Pig, Peppa and George headed off to the sea, while Mummy Pig read her book. Daddy Pig and Peppa had lots of fun. But when it was George's turn, he accidentally threw Mr. Dinosaur into the sea instead. Wah! sobbed George, watching his dinosaur float away. Mummy, cried Peppa, we need you, Mummy. Mummy Pig ran towards the water's edge. She saw Mr. Dinosaur pulled off her coat and dived into the 
cold sea to get him. Ooh, she gasped. It is a little chilly. She swam over to Mr. Dinosaur, then picked him up and swam quickly back to shore. Dinosaur, grrr, growled George happily. Wow, Mummy, said Peppa. You're so brave. Peppa, George, and Daddy Pig dried Mummy Pig with towels, and soon she was nice and warm. I think it's time to head home, said Daddy Pig. Good idea, agreed Mummy Pig, packing up their things. Goodbye, Snowy Beach, sang Peppa all the way home. After dinner, Mummy and Daddy Pig helped Peppa and George get ready for bed. Then they tucked them in with a story. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George, said Mummy Pig. Good night, bestest mummy in the whole world, giggled Peppa. Mummy and Daddy Pig headed downstairs, but just as they sat down, they heard Peppa shout, Mummy, we need you, Mummy. So Mummy Pig went back upstairs. Yes, Peppa, I love you, Mummy, said Peppa, giving Mummy Pig a great big hug. Wuh-woo, Mummy, said George, and he gave her a great big hug, too. I love you both, said Mummy Pig, very much. Now, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. This is for you, said Daddy Pig, giving Mummy Pig a present. Mummy Pig opened it to find a great big bar of chocolate inside. Ooh, thank you, she said, delighted. Then she unwrapped the bar and saw that someone had already had a little nibble. Daddy Pig, she said, smiling. Daddy Pig looked very guilty and went bright red. I love you, Mummy Pig. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.